So today we will be talking about IELTS speaking module. First part, that is the intro questions. Now, in this recording, you will be hearing few sample questions along with their answers. And these are the most commonly asked questions. And always remember, whatever answer you can give based on your personal experience is always considered the best because it generally sounds more natural and it, it actually sounds true. So there's a huge possibility that you would get more bands on that. So always go for your best answer based on your personal experience. So here we go. Now the first set of questions is related to cooking. Do you like cooking? Yes, I like cooking. I cook food daily for my family and prepare special dishes on festivals, family functions and celebrations. It's my hobby as well. Who taught you cooking? I didn't get any formal training in cooking. Since my childhood, I observed my mother cooking in the kitchen and I automatically learned to cook. For cooking special dishes, my mother helped me. Which food items do you like to cook? I like to cook many vegetarian food items like rice, vegetables, pulses, vegetable soups, puddings, and oiled chapatis or tatarellas, popularly known as parantas in India. Along with this, I also like to cook Chinese and Italian food as well. Who cooks food at your home? Usually my mother cooks food at my home, but sometimes I help her in cooking. Since she is the head of the family and knows our taste of various food items, so she takes the responsibility of cooking food at home. Do you see yourself cooking more in future? Yes, I feel that I will be cooking more in future. As I'm planning to study overseas, I will be living there away from my family, so I think I will be cooking more. In addition to this, I'm learning to prepare new dishes, which I will practice later. So this will give me another opportunity to cook more in future. What was the last meal you cooked? I cooked my last meal today in the morning only before coming to the test. The meal was spicy, mixed vegetables and tortillas. I also prepared fried rice with tomato soup. This is the dish my daughter likes the most. Do you prefer home cooked food or food from restaurants? And why? I prefer home cooked food. I think it's more hygienic and cooked with love. After having home cooked food, I feel contented and satisfied. In your country, is cooking a man's job or a woman's job? In my country, cooking is completely considered as woman's job. People in my country even make fun of men who cook food. It's fixed in everyone's mind that kitchen is only meant for women. She has to cook and serve the family as it is a part of creative art. Furthermore, since childhood, mother inspires a girl child to cook tasty food to make her family happy. How do you feel about eating food from another country? These days, Chinese food is becoming very popular in my country. It is spicy and tasty, and I also like to eat Chinese for a change of taste. Though, I feel it's more non-vegetarian, but I love to eat anything vegetarian. What do you mean by hygienic food? Food which is clean and rich in nutrients, like vitamins, minerals, proteins, and carbohydrates. It's called hygienic food. It's prepared and consumed in a short period of time without the threat of external diseases like 
from flies. So the next set of questions is related to school. From where did you do your schooling? As my father was an Air Force officer, I moved from place to place with him because of his transferable job. So I studied from nursery to 10 plus 2 from Kendra Vidyalaya school situated in different cities of my country. They all are English medium schools which follow CBSE syllabus. What were your favorite subjects in school? I studied all the compulsory subjects in the school like English, Hindi, Maths, Science, Social Science, but my favorite subject was mathematics and science to solve the complex problems in mathematics and to do numericals in physics was my forte. Did you study language in your school? Yes, I studied two compulsory languages in my school. That's English and Hindi. As Hindi is our first national language and English is the second. So it was mandatory to learn them. Along with this, I studied Punjabi language as an additional subject. What do you plan to do in the future? I'm planning to go overseas for higher studies and after completing my studies, I want to be a successful professional in my field. But I would finally return to my homeland to serve the best of my ability. Now the next set of questions is related to fitness. How do you keep fit? I keep myself fit through yoga in the morning and by enjoying walk in the evening with my friends in a nearby park. My food habits also keep me healthy all along. Why do you think it's important to keep oneself healthy? A healthy mind resides in a healthy body is a popular saying. So to keep oneself active and energetic and free from diseases it's necessary to be healthy. A healthy person is more active, energetic and efficient to do more work. Do you like to be indoor or outdoor on weekends? Most of the time I'm outdoor for my work during weekdays. Weekend is a relaxing time for me. So I mostly like to be indoor on weekends. I spend some quality time with my family the time that I normally miss during the other days. The next set of questions is related to reading books. Do you like reading books? Yes. Reading is my hobby. So I like reading books. I got a lot of information and spend my time in the company of books. For me books are the best friend of a person. What sort of books do you like to read? I like to read story books in both English as well as in Hindi language. My favorite subjects are fiction and stories that are adventurous and thrilling both. What were your favorite books as a child? As a child, I loved to read story books like Panchatantra, Mickey and Donald and stories of fairy tales. I was always fascinated my stories that had a lot of illustrations and pictures. What are the benefits of reading books? I feel reading books increases our knowledge. It helps to have a grip on the language, improve concentration and comprehension skills. They are the best friend and guide lamps for a person. Do you like to give books as a gift? Yes, I like to give books as a gift, but only to those who love reading books, as reading books is not everyone's cup of tea. The next set of questions is related to name. Is your name important to you? Yes, my name is important to me. 
It has a special significance and moreover, it is my identification in the society. My name gives me a lot of confidence and others like to call me by my name. Who usually name children in your country? Most of the people in my country are religious. So either the religious priests or the parents themselves keep name of their newly born. Sometimes grandparents also suggest or advise a particular name for a child. Why do some people change their name? I think some people don't like the name kept by their parents or they want to change their name for astrological importance. Some other change to get name and fame. Is there any tradition of naming children in your country? People in my country follow a lot of customs and rituals. Naming a child is also a traditional ceremony. People invite relatives and friends. A big feast is organized and then a priest names the child in everyone's presence with some future predictions and best wishes. Everyone blesses the child on this occasion. What are the types of shops that you usually visit? Usually I visit shops for my daily needs like general stores, fruits and vegetable shops, medical and garment shops. In my view, few shops have more significance as compared to some others. The most frequent shop that I like to visit is Music Planet as I'm a music lover. Did you see any change in the shops in the past 10 years? Yes, I observed a lot of changes in the shops in the past 10 years. Nowadays, shops provide quality products at MRP. They maintain cleanliness and hygienic environment in the shops. Most of the shops these days are fully air-conditioned with remarkable services. Due to high awareness amongst customers, shopkeepers can't cheat them these days. What type of shops are famous in your locality? The shops which provide a number of facilities to their customers like variety and latest products, clean and hygienic material and customer care facility are more famous. The shops with uniqueness and variety and quality products attract more customers. When and where do most of the people like to shop? Most of the people like to shop on weekends when they have enough time to enjoy shopping. Most of the people these days shop at shopping malls and mega marts where they can find all things under one roof. The next set of questions is related to house. Talk about your house or your apartment or your flat. I live in a big house in a posh area. It has four bedrooms, a drawing room, a dining room and a spacious garage and beautiful garden in the front. Every room is spacious, well ventilated facilitated with all facilities and attached washrooms it's my dream house which part of your house you prefer the most I prefer my own bedroom it has all facilities which I require like bed computer wardrobe and trophies of my achievements I feel relaxed and comfortable in my room do you want to make any modification in your house Yes, I would like to modify the color of walls. Presently, the color of walls in my house is pink, but I would like to paint the walls of my home in the color of my choice, that is white. White color is a cool color, and it will give my room more spacious looks, and moreover, it's my favorite color. Would you like to live? In a traditional house or in a modern house? I like to live in a village in a traditional house.
The traditional houses are open and spread in a large area. It has large space to accommodate a number of people. They are designed for joint families, mostly. Or, I like to live in a modern apartment with all the facilities in a compact place. Modern accommodations are compact with limited space and are mostly designed for nuclear families. These houses are normally fully furnished and they are budgeted houses. Next set of questions is related to transport. What type of transport system is available in your country? In my country, two types of transport systems are most popular. One is the public and the other is private transport system. Public transport system includes buses, auto rickshaws, cabs, and the private includes tourist cars and taxis. People access them according to their own feasibility. What are the common means of transport in your country? The most common and the cheapest means of transportation are buses and trains. Since India is a vast country with a population of more than 1.2 billion, so public transport system is most acceptable to the people of all strata and status. How do you travel to your workplace? Due to heavy rush in the public transport facilities, I prefer to go office by my own car. It helps me to reach easily and safely at my workplace. I believe in carpooling, which helps to save fuel as well. Are there separate bus facilities for males and females in your city? These types of services are available, but they operate only in the morning and the evening hours, when heavy rush is expected of the commuters. Special buses for females are there in which males are strictly not allowed to board. Do you often observe traffic jams in your city? Due to high increase in number of vehicles in my city, I often observe traffic jams in my city, especially in the morning at the office time and in the evening when people come back to their homes. Do you like traveling? Yes, I like traveling to nearby or far away places. I usually travel with my family. Traveling helps me to enjoy and explore new places. I travel to distant places within my country by taxi or train. But when I travel overseas, I opt airplanes as these are the fastest means to reach far off places. Is bicycle still the best transport? Yes, I think bicycle is environmental friendly transport. So the best for short distances. It is a type of manual machine to maintain health as it involves a lot of physical exercise. The next set of questions is related to festivals and celebrations. Tell me about the important festivals celebrated in your country. My country is a multi-religious and multicultural country. People of all religions and cultures celebrate their festivals with great fervor. The common festivals celebrated are the Shara, the Vali, Rakshabandhan, Vesaki, Eid, and Christmas. What special activities are connected to these festivals? Festivals enthuse people in my country and they bring a lot of happiness. The festival activities are worshipping and praying. Along with this, buying and wearing new clothes, visiting each other's home and exchanging sweets and gifts. Apart from this, preparing special foods at home is also a special activity.